Hello and welcome back to Dr. How. Today I'm going to be talking about animating eye blinking. In the story of the Deadly Assassin, we have the master appearing uh, in a rather decrepit form. He's gone past his last regeneration, so he, basically he's dying. And what they've done is they've used a mask to give him this real cadaverous look. It's quite an effective mask. It looks um, rather creepy, but the problem with it is it is a mask, and you can tell that it's a mask, uh, and so the eyes in particular don't don't move and don't blink. Um, so uh, the fan editor-in-chief had this idea, which was to make the master blink, and essentially this just involved animating the eyelids on the over the mask so that it actually looks like he's blinking. And it's okay if it looks a little bit creepy because, well, he is a creepy character and uh, if it gets into the uncanny valley a bit, that's okay. So uh, what I wanted to do was actually do a little bit of research and work out what eye blinking actually should look like. Um, so I found an academic paper. There were some people at uh, Carnegie Mellon Uni University and Disney Research who were looking into how to animate eye blinks and they they looked at a bunch of different things and one of the things that they found was that the eye blinking uh, shouldn't be symmetric it should actually have a kind of v shape this is actually looking at the distance between the eyelids so if you imagine uh, the line at the top there is actually talking about the eyes being wide open so there's a great distance between the eye eyelids it reduces down to a small distance uh, as the eyelids touch and then it res uh, retracts back to the normal position. But that retraction is different to uh, when the eye, eye is starting to blink. So actually the blink is fast and then it slowly, more slowly opens up. So because the eye blinking is not symmetric in that sense, uh, that's that was one thing to, to consider in how to animate this. The other thing is uh, they looked at the, the timing uh, and they found that at 30 frames per second, which would be the NTSC uh, format of television in, in America, uh, it would take uh, approximately seven frames to do an eye blink. Uh, for, for PAL, which is operating at 25 frames per second, which is what Doctor Who uh, uses, then it would be more like five frames. So, so what I did is I opened up uh, the images that I'd saved out of the of the um, of the DVD, open up some of those images in GIMP, and then what I would do is actually draw on the eyelid to make it look like the eyelid was completely closed, and then I would copy that layer so that I would, I would have uh, a few different uh, versions of it, which could be then I could basically erase between the eyelids to make it to make the eyelid an upper and lower eyelid appear. Now doing that uh, and spreading that over four or five frames uh, produces an effect which is quite reasonable. It may not be perfect, but as I say, it's okay to be in the uncanny valley here. It's fine for it to look a little bit wrong, a little bit creepy. Um, so I can't show you the entire uh, reel of all of the uh, eye blinks that I've done because they're so short in duration that if I if I show you the uh, the the footage it, uh, Google and YouTube will actually just think that I've plagiarized uh, from the show because the eye blink is such a small fraction of the show um, so what I can do is just show you a little reel of just the eye blinks happening uh, to give you the idea of what it looks like so uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll uh, talk to you next time bye